Thank you for stopping back by Just Piddling Barbecue. Today we're going to do a really simple cook, some chicken halves on the Pro 780. Stay tuned. All right, now for this cook, we're going to be running the Traeger Pro 780 at 350 degrees today. And so I'm going to press that in, hit the ignite button, and go ahead and get it started. Now, I've already cleaned my grill. I've already replaced the foil. I've already vacuumed it out and everything. And so it's pretty much ready to go. I've already made sure that I've got plenty of pellets in the hopper. And so you can hear him falling back into the fire pot. And so that's going to get going. Now let's talk about the chicken halves. All right, now today is going to be a really simple cook, but I was talking the other night on my live stream about simple cooks. And sometimes the simpler cooks are the best. And this is going to be a really simple cook, but sometimes I feel like, well, people already know how to do that. But if you're a beginner and you're looking for something really simple to do on your brand new smoker for the first time, uh, this might be just the recipe for you. So it's going to be really simple, easy to follow. Today I was thinking about some citrus flavors going along with this chicken, and that's what we're going to do uh, with the seasoning for this chicken. Now these are chicken halves. These will work fine with chicken quarters as well, or even bone-in chicken breast. Normally I get a whole chicken, and I make my own chicken halves. But to make it even simpler for you, these were already chicken halves already cut up in the uh, grocery store. And that's what I got. They look really good. So um, let's go ahead and season these up. Now all I'm going to do to season them up, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on them as a binder. Go ahead and rub that in under the wing. And this is just giving something to uh, let the rub bind to. I did wipe them off with a paper towel, blotted them dry before I brought them out here. Um, and also this oil hopefully lets that skin crisp up as well when they're cooking. Go ahead and coat the underside. And just something you want to think about while you're uh, doing this process is how you're wanting your chicken breast or whatever meat that you're cooking to go on the grill. I want the um, bone side of my chicken halves to be down and so I want to go ahead and put my rub on that part. That way it's not going to mess up the top side when I go to flip it over. So this is just a Weber citrus herb blend. I thought that would go really well with how we're going to do it today. It's got a lot of herbs, some orange peel, lemon peel in with it. We're going to coat the underside pretty well with it. And you can already smell the citrus already. It smells really good. And now we're going to go on the top with it. We'll go on the top, maybe a little bit heavier. There was really no trimming to be done on these, to be honest with you. I'm going to lift that wing up. Make sure I get up under it the leg as well underside of that leg and just make sure everything's coated really well now one of the other things that we're going to do just add layers of flavor is we're going to put these lemon slices on the actual grill grate and then set the chicken on top of these lemon slices it's going to add a little bit of moisture into the environment as well as flavor so we're just going to kind of layer these down I probably could have used one more lemon to be honest with you, but this is going to work just fine. Kind of spread them out a little more. And then we'll lay them right over the top of that. And just for good measure, I'll throw a little bit of rub on them as well. We'll let that continue to heat up.
All right, now that the grill is starting to heat up, we're going to do a simple side as well. I figured I'd show you something else that you can do that's really simple, doesn't take long at all. This is just cubed up squash and onions. And we're just going to season it. We're going to put it in a tinfoil packet. I can dump it out right here. And we're going to hit it with a little oil. A little olive oil. And then we're going to season it. I got some Charlie's Choice Spicy Blend seasoning. We're just going to hit it with that. This is just kind of like an all-purpose seasoning. Salt, pepper, garlic. Maybe a few uh, little herbs in there. And a little bit of heat. I'm just going to combine that really well. Season it really well. Those vegetables can take a good amount of seasoning. So don't be afraid to season it. Now we're just going to mix those up a little bit by hand. Kind of break those onions up a little bit. And then for the last part of this, we're just going to take some green field Irish butter. It's made with grass-fed cows, milk. And we're just going to cube this butter up a little bit. Spread it around with the squash and onion. And that's going to do it. Now we're just going to wrap it up. Now for this, you can just kind of roll it up and then pinch it. That way it kind of seals it. And then roll up the end. The one trying to peek out there. I roll up the end. We're going to double wrap this so it's not that big a deal. Of course, I guess I'm going to roll this so it really doesn't matter. But there you go. So a nice easy side and that's going to go on the grill and cook along with that chicken. Alright, we've reached 350 degrees on the Traeger Pro 780. There's our squash and onions. It's going to go on that end down there. And then we're just going to put our chicken halves on. We're going to lay them down right there on the lemon slices. I can smell the lemon already. Slide those over just a little bit. Oh, lost one. It's really not that big a deal. All right, this cook took about an hour and a half. The chicken's done, and uh, we're gonna open up this lid and see what we've got. Um, I've said a, a lot on my channel that for chicken that has a bone in it, like chicken quarters, chicken halves, I always take those up to a higher temperature than you really have to, but I just think it makes the chicken uh, end up better in the long run. And so I'll show you. Now, I had the probe in it, and I put the probe in about 45 minutes into the cook. Uh, but for example, I'll turn it around this way so you can see, but like in the, in the thigh right there, we're looking at 200 degrees and the chicken breast, we're looking around 180-ish, 183, 184, and all of them are really about the same. And that's really where I like to take them. Um, now before folks ask, I'll go ahead and answer the question because I get it all the time. If you take it up to that high of a temperature, aren't they going to be dry? And the answer is no. And I'll show you that when I take them off. We're going to take these birds off. Man, they look beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful, nice skin on them. Look at the juice. Not, not dry at all. Beautiful birds.
Now this chicken's really still really hot. I need to let it rest, but just wanted to kind of show you what we've got with this chicken and how moist it is. So there's your chicken and it pulls right apart. Look at the juice. Now you tell me if it's dry or not. No way that chicken's dry. See if we can get the leg off. Boom. That's how tender it is. That's how juicy it is. Now, why is it not dry if you took it up to 200 degrees? It's not dry because the temperature that we cooked it at. We cooked it at 350 for an hour and a half. Now, if we had cooked it at, say, 250 and cooked it for five hours to get it up to 200 degrees, then it would probably be dry because that long of a period allows for all that moisture to evaporate. But we cooked it at a high temp for a low period of time and that didn't give this chicken uh, enough time to evaporate all the moisture out of it. So there you go. And while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and do a taste test because I can't stand it. That's going to be good right there. That, that skin. That's great flavor. Matter of fact, it has almost of a, a turkey type flavor as far as the seasoning goes with that citrus. Nice. I mean, wonderful and simple. Tender, juicy. So again, this is, look at that. Simple recipe you can do at home. Perfect recipe for a beginner. Give it a try. Traeger Pro 780 did work today. Worked out perfect. Until next time, we'll be fitting.